anytime I launch a new series or a new book, it's nerve wracking. And when I went to launch Dreamer's Throne, I thought to myself, why don't I have a checklist for this? It would make it so much easier if there was just a list of things that I knew I needed to do beforehand to prep for the release. So I decided to make one. My name is Seth. I'm a full-time fantasy author. I've written 26 books. I've published most of them. And I make these videos because there are a lot of authors out there who are fumbling around in the dark, and I don't want you to be one of them. When I set out to create my checklist for my new launch, Dreamer's Throne, I sort of felt like I was starting fresh. I've released a number of books and uh, a number of series as well. This is actually my third series. And every time I do, I have the same problem. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. And while that's true to an extent, I actually have a considerable amount of experience. But because I've never taken the time to organize what I know into a solid checklist or framework, it just feels like I don't know what I'm doing. So I thought this week we would talk a little bit about the checklist that I ended up building and how you can build your own checklist for your launches. All right, let's get right into it. What is the first item that should be on your checklist? Well, that should be finish the book. One of the things that I've realized about marketing and about self-publishing and even about traditional publishing is that often we get so excited about finally having a published book and getting it out there and seeing people read it and getting reviews that we forget the most important part, which is finishing the book well. And so the number one most important thing on your checklist and on my checklist has to be finish the book. Next, I think it's helpful to make a list of everywhere we want to promote. A lot of people default to sort of saying, I'm just going to promote everywhere. Anywhere I can, I'm going to promote. But I think that that's the wrong approach to take. Different platforms are going to have different audiences, and you're going to get a different result for the time you invest in that platform. So if you have absolutely no Twitter presence, then promoting on Twitter probably isn't going to be a good use of your time. If, like me, you have no presence on TikTok, then it's questionable whether or not promoting on TikTok is going to be good for you. If, on the other hand, you've invested a lot of time into TikTok, you understand how it works, then promoting there is a fantastic idea. I guess what I would say is that as we're trying to figure out what we're going to do to promote our new series or our new book, we want to pick the places that are going to have the best impact. And don't be afraid to just say, you know what, I'm not on Instagram, I'm not going to promote on Instagram. On top of social media, there are a number of other things you can do. You can you can take out ads on Facebook. You can take out ads on Amazon. You can take out ads on BookBub. There are a million promotional sites. So our next step after we've finished our book is to just make a list of all of the places where we're going to be investing our time and our energy in order to promote our work. After you've made a list of all of the places you're going to promote, I would suggest going through and making a list of all of the people you are going to ask to promote. One of the little known secrets about being an author is that more books sell through other author recommendations than almost any promotion that you can do. So if you can get another author who's in your same genre and is fairly well known and has an audience of their own to shout you out, you're going to get a huge return on that investment. Because again, it takes you next to no time. You just have to ask for the shout out. And if they agree, it takes them next to no time. They just have to deliver the shout out. But the return has the potential to be tremendous. But it's very helpful, I've found, to list all of the people, to list all of the names, and whatever contact information you're going to be using to contact them, and then whether or not they have agreed to share or promote your story when it comes out. Once you have this list, which is, again, a list of all of the places you're going to promote, and then all of the people who you're going to ask to promote, go over that list once more and add times to it. So identify when you are going to do each of these things, when you're going to ask people, and when you're going to promote on these social media platforms. Now, this is a really important component of this whole process. One of the mistakes that I have made over and over again is not starting early enough. Instead of starting a few months early and getting things sort of revved up before my series comes out, 
I've tended to wait too long and then I'm rushing at the end. And it's just not a good look. Anytime you can give yourself plenty of runway, not only will you be less stressed about what it is you're doing, but you'll also see a better result. So now that you know when you're going to be promoting these posts and when you're going to be asking people for shout outs, I would recommend going back through your list one more time and identifying any asset that you are going to need in order to promote your story. This is going to be any copy you need. This is going to be any images you need. This is going to be any gifts you need or promotional boxes. You wanna identify all of that stuff before you even start. There is nothing worse than getting to the day when you need to promote, when you're supposed to be posting something on Facebook and realizing that you don't have the assets in order to do it. After you've gone back through your list and you've identified each thing that you need, add a time to that as well. At the end of all of this, you should end up with approximately three lists. You're going to have a list of where and when you're going to post. You're going to have a list of who you are going to ask to promote your book and when you are going to ask them. And you will have a list of all of the assets you need in order to complete the items on the first two lists, along with when you are going to have those assets. That right there forms your master checklist. As you do each item, you can check it off the list and you won't have to worry about it when it comes time for your book to launch. On top of that, I like to create a fourth piece. And this is just a timeline of everything I'm going to do based on the dates and the times that I've already identified. I know this sounds like a lot of work, but believe me, it's not that much. To make this whole process easier, you'll find a link in the description to a cheat sheet that I put together that shows you an example of my checklist that you can follow along with when you're making yours.